Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52. Um, first round match between somebody who should be banned <laughs> and Devic. Um, we've got Undead versus Chorfs. It's um, a lovely Undead team to be honest. Um, tackle Pom, Jump Up Juggernaut. Strength up, guard stand firm, mighty blow. Okay, multi block, absolutely terrible multi block on the mummy. Um, but great having strength six block. And then block on the other one as well. Um, so, yeah, actually incredible undead team. Um, well, let's say undead team, four players, an incredible four players in the undead team. The ghouls, or gals as Kaylon, he's benched two ghouls, so he's not only an idiot when it comes to. You, setting his coach name he's an idiot when it comes to fielding the best players on his team because for some reason he's he's got a rookie he's playing the rookie ghoul and not the other two and he's up against a wizard as well he's up against a wizard and he's like well i'll just carry on my rookie ghoul so when he gets bolted and dies a zombie will pick it up i guess is his plan that's terrible um, I mean, I think I I, I don't I and anyway. So then looking at the chaffs, uh, he's got a really nice ball carry here, and he's got some guard and some mighty blow, and his balls are shit. One's block and one's block guard, so no break tackle at all. Um, yeah, so it's very bare bones, very bare bones. Uh, chaff team. Yeah. I don't wa I don't watch South Park honestly. I've like I've seen some South Park things, you know, some some things, but um, I don't understand this reference. And whether he is just a, even if he is just a South Park fan and he thinks that sketch or whatever it is is funny, there's no excuses there. Like just don't be a dickhead. <laughs> like <laughs> it's pretty easy, isn't it? It's pretty easy to just not be a dickhead. Right. Well, there you go then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bezel, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not hard, is it? It's not, it's oh wow. GFI is not free movement, who knew? He'd already used sure feet and then did another one. So he'd actually used his sure feet and then made another one knowing he didn't have sure feet. That's a bit that's even more greedy than most uh Bull centaurs. This is a wild result. I know the blitz happened, haven't it? But this is still wild, like how all over the place this uh, this chaff team is. Both bulls on the ground <laughs> somehow, <laughs> but hilariously, the uh, the undead can't really take that much advantage because they're so fucking slow. Because they've got a team of zombies instead of whites. Amazing. Correct. Not Jim Voice, Kalon Voice. <laughs> Correct. Ta 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 ta. <laughs> ta 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 ta. Correct. Oh wow, Wiz comes in. Doesn't get the AV break, tragically. I mean, Cyanide don't care, but the admins could ban them still. But yeah, I mean... Yeah. And Cyanide still could, couldn't they? And probably would, if they... Like... Kind of gave any kind of shit. <laughs> Mm. 
Well, we'll see, won't we, Jade Buzzer? We'll see. Bold of you to to assume that they'll give more of a shit or be any more competent in Blood Bowl 3. But we'll find out. All oh, right, okay. Fair enough, Jay Basil. Fair enough. That's <laughs> that's much more likely than Cyanide becoming more competent or caring more. Well, so one one ghoul was knocked off by the wizard, but surely one of the other two ghouls will be able to pick up and recover this for the uh, undead. Or... Oh no, nope, no, nope, they're on the bench. <laughs> the legend that is shit cunt fuck there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, your your word, your word, I don't know what your word filter would censor, Triff. Like, what what would yours? What would your word censor? Censor. Missionary. Vanilla. <laughs> Dog, bark, wolf. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't allow passing there in their own game, built around passing. Yeah. Yeah, anything works as long as it's part of a double word, isn't it? Like shit, come fuck there. That's it. As long as you end like, as long as you add a second part, it doesn't matter. Oh wow, huge removal. Huge. And the ball is got, and uh, well, Surely now the undead coach will use his uh, three ghouls to uh, recover this dreadful position. Surely he won't have loads of completely stranded zombies unable to do anything. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't know how to pick a username or play Blood Bowl. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yep, it's it's not bad, is it? I for one am pretty happy about it. <laughs> I am complete I am always completely <laughs> completely uh what's the word? Impartial. Except for Arzawain's Sergal and this guy. <laughs> and even then I won't say Sergal's bad at Blood Bowl or Arzawain's bad at Blood Bowl. But this guy <laughs> hasn't played hasn't played well, has he? <laughs> and this insane decision to bench both ghouls on your offense. I guess he it's because he thought, Oh, Chofs have tackle, so I don't want an armor seven guy against tackle. Yeah, the look wasn't the look wasn't bad at all, no. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen people though that like that are like that, you know. They'll, oh wow. <laughs> well, may, maybe the admins, rather than banning him, have just giving him shit dice now. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's funny, isn't it? I've seen a bunch of people like act like that as if, like, you know, they don't want to play, you know, ghouls against dwarves and stuff. And it's like, dude, being twice as fast as dwarves is pretty good. You know? Being twice as fast as them is pretty good. Yeah, Penemu. I've no, I've noticed that Art's tried to claim the bad dice thing, as if he, as if he forgets that I play Blood Bowl. <laughs> Absolute scumbag.
Yeah, having a not zombie. Well, not anymore because my dice were too bad. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even it wasn't even that long ago it was last season wasn't it 911 911 Amazon's last season 4 <laughs> you play Blood Bowl like I paint my miniatures brilliant well I'm just I'm just thinning my Blood Bowl paint playing <laughs> Recharging the dice, yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Amazing. It's a comedy mega. Choose! Two zombies, two whites, no regen. <laughs> yeah, 911. It was perfect to end a blood ball, a blood ball run on 911, isn't it? Very appropriate. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Ducky, yeah. Yeah, like they're so fast. They're so fast. Skins. Oh my god. <laughs> this one has worked, hasn't it? No? Oh no, I don't know why, I don't know why, it's when you see it, you know, it hasn't worked, oh wow. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. Glad that it looks like there's not going to be a second game for him. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy, Try. There's people on Fumble that don't take any ghouls. I think it's crazy. Like, I maybe, maybe it's not now, like, you know, with, uh, with, with, uh, maybe they'll take ghouls now with, uh, wraiths instead of whites. But there was people, I think they won a major. I think Necro won a major without any ghouls. Like, I think it's fucking crazy. I think it's fucking crazy. And I think it's shit and wrong as well. Like, I'm confident that I'm correct that ghouls are better than zombies. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, it is funny. Like, at least with Necro, you've got wolves, right? Yeah, that is the thing with Necro. You've got wolves as well. This would be like benching a wolf and a ghoul, wouldn't it? Like, he's got, th you know... He's got zombies the same as Necro. Mummies are the same as fleshies. And then ghouls are the same as... as whites are the same as whites. And then you've got... Ghouls are the same as ghouls and wolves aren't you so he's he's only got three ghouls total which is like having two wolves and a ghoul but you wouldn't just feed the feel the ghoul and not feel the wolves would you like that's mental yeah and i uh i often yeah i, I always have four ghouls if i can on undead and will field you know will often bench a uh often will bench a the ball carrier. You know, I think that's a good one. Bench the ball carrier. And then, uh, you know, you've got him for the second half and stuff. But yeah, even if even if I'm benching a, even if I, I would still bench both ghouls if I had to. Like, I literally just would. I just think it's crazy to not have two ghouls. I think it's really, really is shit and wrong to not have both ghouls, even though people have won majors without ghouls. And you know, good players like try, only like one ghoul, and good players who've won majors like no ghouls. I will not be able to be convinced that it's not shit and wrong. 
Yeah, it's looking bad. This is a, oh, I don't like that. I would definitely want the mighty blow on the ghoul. Like I'm a hundred percent moving that mighty blow in on the ghoul there. You don't have to be racist to understand it, red hair. You just need, I guess, knowledge of English, and I guess so. Maybe, maybe he's foreign and just thought it was funny on South Park, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like it is, I guess it is interesting, isn't it? There are people who like who English is their second or third or fourth language or whatever, but um. Every every person who English is their first language would know to not have this as their <laughs> would just not have this as their you know would know that this was unacceptable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Tom, yeah that was a bit of a choice from Red Hair, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's fair enough, right, Try That's fair enough, basing on matchups. But, I mean, that's true of anything, isn't it? You know, like, I would go down to two two ghouls on necro... On one ghoul on undead if I had to, you know? Like, that's... Cutting things for matchups is totally different, isn't it? Oh, well, I went for the five plus in. <laughs> Got many players left, has he? <laughs> five men left. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, dog to the dog. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I, but I just still, I can't believe that these people are correct. Even though really good players do it, I just, I just can't. I can't agree with it. I can't. But yeah, seeing what the matchups are is, is fine. That's obviously correct, isn't it? Correct. Leader DP is an interesting choice, isn't it? That's a very interesting choice. Not picking up with sure hands. Oh, because he's on 30. When Kfog had a strength 5 werewolf, he still did shithead werewolf blitzers like every other necro coach on the planet. <laughs> so, so, you know, maybe there's just... Oh, look, imagine if you'd taken break tackle instead of fucking multi-block. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he said it while saying good evening little wrestlers <laughs> good evening little wrestlers what can I do for you <laughs> glorious PTK <laughs> Uh, maybe, Dilly, maybe. I mean, I would, after block, I would have taken the strength. I think block's better than strength. But after block, I would have taken the strength. It's pretty sick. It's pretty good defensive because, as well, like a lot of the claw pommers that are going to come for you, which is like, you know, what you're scared of as mummies mainly, like, a lot of them are going to have claw uh, tackle as well, because right? they want claw pom tackle. So, your strength is like one of your best defenses against getting one wrecked by. Scary men's. Um, you can hit two people like adjacent. Um, 
that you know that you could normally flock, but they, you add two to each of the strengths. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty decent sometimes. You know, when your strength six guy's got two people he can hit, and then, but you really want to grab with it as well, so you can keep them next to you and try and hit them again and stuff. And it's, it's yeah, it's it's basically so niche that it does almost nothing. Even even the thing that people love is the uh, is the idea of a multi block assassin, and you know that works on the LOS, and that's the only time it works, and it's not worth thirty TV for a skill that works on the LOS after you receive once a match. It's just not worth thirty TV. Yeah, that's a good point, Bezel. Yeah, yeah, that is its main benefit, hundred percent. Oh, look at this lovely SPP going there. He gets the completion on both of them and so the touchdown on him. So he gets him up to 76, him up to 31. Lovely. Lovely game for Devic. I do understand fun. I have fun when I'm trying to win. <laughs> I don't even have to win. But I have to try to win. I have to understand things and I have to try to win. And that for me is fun. And if I don't understand things, I, I generally don't I don't have fun with them. And if I don't try to win, I generally don't have fun either. There are occasional exceptions, but in general. I mean, I don't know if he'll employ multi-block in crucial positions. He's definitely not going to win Chalice either with humans, is he? There's no chance of Chunter winning this season Chalice. There you go. There is absolute 0% chance of Chunter winning Chalice this season. I'll put that out there. It's not absolute 0, is it? But it's close enough to 0. Like, obviously, he could just dice everyone he plays, but... It's close enough to zero. <laughs> Honestly, probably less chance than you, yes, PC. Because if you if you dice if you dice the pants off of Nolly, you've got like a decent dwarf team. And no matter what he does, he's still got a fucking human team. <laughs> so yeah, less chance than you, PC. <laughs> Literally. Well, that's, he's got about the same chance as this guy. But uh, congratulations, Devok. Oh my god, amazing level ups as well. Gets a level up on this job blocker. Levels up two uh, hobgoblins. Amazing result for him. And for the rest of Chalice in total. There you go. Maybe it's all just a hilarious joke because he's got Florida as stadium, but who knows? I don't know. Um, it's not hilarious, is it? <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.